Another very important feature of Maya watches is the coaxial escapement. And I was very fortunate enough to have worked with George Daniels through a very important developmental phase of the coaxial escapement. And this was a stage when he was working with Amiga in order to uh, develop the coaxial escapement further for use in their watches. And today the coaxial has been a great success and Amiga are using the escapement in I think a large proportion of the watches that they now produce today. So this experience as I say was invaluable and is very useful um, to be able to pick George's brains and to get ideas and views on um, how the escapement works and so on. And um, so on leaving working with George and setting up my own workshop I knew that my watches had to have the coaxial escapement. So I've been uh, working with it very closely since about 2004 uh, with the early development of the Series 2 wristwatch and um, over the course of the past 40 or so Series 2's that I have made um, we've been studying the escapement closely and making slight improvements to it as we've gone along and it's been a very very interesting period and about um, almost a year ago now we um, came up with the latest or my latest sort of version of this coaxial escapement and we now have this single wheel version which has taken a lot of work to bring to fruition and I now put this single wheel version into all my watches and basically what I've done is uh, to combine the upper and lower wheels of the escape wheel and have combined them into one single wheel which now has raised teeth on it and this has been a great benefit to me in the making of the escapement and I can now guarantee that um, I have total concentricity of the two wheels if you like or two sets of teeth and also the correct radial orientation of the two sets of teeth which in the coaxial escapement is extremely critical. This Series 2 mechanism which we first started delivering in 2006 is the very first production movement to have ever been designed around the coaxial escapement and I'm particularly proud of that fact and today we're just making 10 pieces per year and it's been a very very interesting uh, lots of hard work um, has gone on in the development of the coaxial escapement and for me uh, to be able to learn how to manufacture it and how to create the escapements for my watches um, but really my goal, the ultimate goal, is really to continually improve the timekeeping of the modern mechanical English wristwatch.